for the question. Uh, the esteemed audience thinks I'm going to check it out because it's you, but nope. I ask yeah. everybody who comes on the show. Uh, Linda Sarsour, have you ever seen a ghost and or a flying saucer? Not in real life, I haven't. I don't know if that makes me lucky or unlucky. What I want, if because you're going to be around at least another 38 years doing organizing, I need you to get some organization in the UFO movement. Let's get some disclosure, but that's a whole other time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one uh, day I'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> right at some point we gotta we gotta take this serious the government's come right out and disclosed and we were in the middle of a uh, pandemic and everything else so i'm like no we don't have time for that now but now that things are coming down a little bit wait a minute go back, back on it. That about the flying saucers? that's another conversation <laughs> um for today for everybody who's watching or listening to us now if they could do change just one behavior do just one thing that would go toward making the world a better place what would you tell them to do it's very simple rob get to know one another. I think we got into this age of our phones, of being behind screens, that we don't do the basic things. Like, does everybody know who their next door neighbor is? Like, do you know who they are? Do they know your name? Do they have your phone number? For people who work in companies where you're at a cubicle all day, do you know the person in the cubicle next to you or maybe four cubicles down? So I say to people all the time, if we ever get into a situation um, in this country, a bad one, you know, we can't protect one another if we don't know one another. So I recommend that you take the time this week to say, okay, who's the fellow classmate that's sitting next to me in my chemistry class that I haven't really engaged in a conversation? Or who's the new neighbor three doors down from me that just moved in two months ago that I still haven't met? Or who's that guy that I always pass by that's like three cubicles down from me? I, I don't even know what the guy's name is. Find out what that guy's name, his name is. And that, that's for me the most powerful tool of organizing it's just getting to know people. That's literally what an organizer does. I literally 15 minute conversations. I want to know you. I want to know what your aspirations are. I want to know where you come from. And just knowing those very basic things about you, like your name, where you came from. And, you know, people will say, oh, I'm from originally from like, you know, Fisher, Indiana, or I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. That tells a lot about uh, a person. Like that's a very important thing for someone to tell you. And then just saying like, hey, like, why are you here? Like, you know, whether it's a person that moved in your neighborhood, whether it's a person that works at your company, it's a very powerful tool that we're not using. And I think the the digital era has really made us um, disconnected in ways that I think are not healthy. So get to know someone.